we were seeing and hearing some of the same things that God had been speaking about the manifested presence in Kern County. So maybe you've been, like, like Jeremy says, living under a rock and you don't know what we're talking about. So let's quickly talk about what does that mean? Why did God tell you God's manifested presence in Kern County? Why was he telling me, Danielle, I, 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 this house of prayer has to be built here in Kern County. He won't let me off of that. This is something, this is a mandate on my life. Mm-hmm. I know it is to build a house of prayer mm-hmm. here in Kern County. And I tried to somewhat, I did it in the beginning in a certain way, which was a seed that had to be sown into the ground. But now he's expanded the vision. I'm like, whoa, God, you want me to do what? But it's necessary. Why? What in the world is God doing here in Kern County? Let's talk about that, TJ and Cheryl. Okay. Um, you know, I mean, when we heard it, mm-hmm. you know, you don't just come up with these things. You, you need to know that. <laughs> I mean, who would do that? Who would stick their neck out and, and be the weird one and say, God told me uh, the whole entire county is going to be hit, baptized mm-hmm. with God's manifested presence. Yeah. Who would do that? Who would stick their neck out? Only someone that's a little slightly messed up in the head or someone that really heard <laughs> from God. Yes, yes. But what's really amazing is when you bump into another person and another person and another person mm-hmm. and even someone in Texas, yes, my friend yes. B.J. Hilton in Texas that says, God's doing something, God's doing yes. something. And you contact pastors and they're saying, we know God's been telling us he's doing something. You know, you can feel a rumbling going mm. on, on in the spirit. Yes. And, and then you know, okay, I really did hear God. But you know, <laughs> God's first requires you to step out on the water, just like mm. Peter did. Come on. And, and I had to start with that. He, he gave me this crazy vision that, of his throne coming down and hitting and I heard a boom uh, it was it was so huge. It was three city blocks wide, mm. and people started running. And I'm talking people from not just Christians. I saw people that, that were dark, you know, with darkness on them, sin and and hangups and and uh, you know addictions mm. all over them, running and screaming towards him. Mm. And and then they changed into glory. Amen. So it's it's here. I don't yes. even believe it's just coming. It's here mm. right now. You can feel it vibrating. Yes, when, yes. when the three of us here in this room are sitting here, we yes. can feel it vibrating yeah. in the air. Yeah. The spirit has already come. And because we agree, you know, just agreeing with heaven brings heaven to earth. Yes, come on. that's good. And God said... I want you to start saying this, mm-hmm. so we're saying it. And Dr. Danielle is saying it, and yes. Jeremiah is saying it, yes. and TJ is saying it, yes. and, and then Pastor and McFarland is saying it, mm-hmm. and Pastor from Destiny Ministries is saying it. Say it, say it, say it. He's coming. Mm-hmm. When you agree with the Word of God, yes. Yeah. Yes. then it happens. Amen. He, Amen. he doesn't do anything until he reveals it first to his prophets. That's right. The prophets are the ones who hear God. Do you hear God? That's it. Because that gift is there for you. Why mm-hmm. don't you move into that place? That's where we are in these last days. Where yes. We hear those that do know their God. Mm-hmm. If you know your God, you're going to be strong and do exploits. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. that's good. TJ, what do you have to say about that? Well, I think uh, speaking about it is the first step. Anytime that you want to change a culture, it, it does sound crazy. Whatever the idea is, mm-hmm. when you throw it out there, the culture will, uh, there'll be like a backlash, like, oh, that's, that's a crazy idea or whatever. <laughs> but if you don't give up, if you keep saying it and keep saying it and keep pushing mm-hmm. pretty soon, it that doesn't sound so crazy yes. anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the idea changes, the expectation changes, and then it, the more you say it and the more a few people start believing, a few people start believing, that, yeah. oh, well, that sounds plausible. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think God could do that. Mm-hmm. I think he could really, you know, come to Kern County, and then it grows and it grows, and then pretty soon the expectation is so high, most of the culture will start to believe God is going to come. That's God, right. I believe God is going to come in my neighborhood, in my community, in Kern County where mm-hmm. I work. So it's a matter of not giving up, of just keep putting it out there, putting out there and believing, having the faith to believe. I, li- I like what you say. What I, what I see when you're talking about culture, about how first, and, and the word of God is it, from Genesis to Revelation really shows the importance of speaking. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, God created the worth, wor- world with his voice, right. with words. And so it it goes to show that there is power. Mm -hmm. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. I love decreeing and decreeing and talking about that. Um, In Job, it talks about how when you decree a thing, how it shall be established. So when we begin to speak and and speak based on what we're hearing from from God saying, hey, wake up, Cheryl, wake up, Danielle, at 3 o'clock in the morning at midnight. I'm 
coming to Kern County. Yeah. Yeah. And not only am I coming, but I'm coming with my transforming power yeah. that that which was unclean will now become clean right. as they encounter yes. the presence of God. Yes. And then you get to a place, what you're saying, uh, TJ, is that we are now, every time we get on these airways, mm -hmm. every time you have the opportunity to share God's yeah. manifested presence in Kern County, what we're doing is creating a culture yeah. that says, no, this is not foreign. And we're creating a momentum, a movement that mm -hmm. says, no, we believe that God is going to manifest his presence in this region. Yeah. We're not accepting no for an answer. Yeah, well, if you keep saying this and keep saying this, guess mm -hmm. what? It begins to push back the culture of man. It begins That's to right. push back the culture That's of right. tradition yes. that says we've accepted to be Come this on. way for so long. And we're saying, yeah, that was great then, but God is saying this is what I want right now. Yeah. Yes. Can I get a few people who will accept and agree with what God is saying that the church of Acts is continuing. That's I'm right. ready Come to on. do exploits among <laughs> my people. Yes. Y'all got me preaching. Yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to manifest myself in a way they think thought I was dead in the miracles, but let me show you yeah. that I'm still God, yeah. that I'm the God who heals. I'm the God who, who takes someone from crack and, and heals them and delivers them within two minutes. Yes. It does not take a long time. We used to tarry in churches, you know, to get the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And you, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, you have to do all these things. Yeah. And it's like now God is saying, yeah. do you want it? Yes. yes. Are you hungry? Yes. Boom. Hmm, Here you go. Right. Now go and save your family. Yeah. And yeah. so it's just us beginning to voice yeah. what God is saying. We are the feet. We are the legs. We are the mouthpiece of God. Yeah. And we have to be confident enough to know that what you're hearing from God is not foreign. Yeah. This is what you said. It's foreign in the beginning. Mm -hmm. When I opened up the house of prayer, people were like, you're going to do what? Mm -hmm. 24 hours of what? Are you crazy? How are you going to do this? How are you going to live? How? All these things. But guess what? After a couple of months of it being open, oh, God, can you please bring back the house of prayer? We need that place to come and worship, to come and lay before God 24 hours a day. Yeah. Now it's not foreign. Yeah. So, you know, it's a matter of being confident, speaking it, and then beginning to move in action.